Hello, my name is Glenda Bearmaker. I'm a Toronto City Councillor representing Ward 38 Scarborough Centre. I've been on Toronto City Council for 11 years and have been lived in Scarborough my entire life. Uh, I'm encouraging everybody to do like I'm doing and support Parthi, vote for Parthi, endorse Parthi, and do everything you can to help make sure we have a good, strong advocate sitting at the school board in this 2014 election. I'll be running as a Toronto City Councillor, Parthi is running as a school board trustee. I think we work very well together and I really look forward to sitting side by side with Parthi at different committee meetings to make sure that both the, the children that are being educated and the community that lives next to those schools works in harmony and that the children who run out of the school to go and play on monkey bars uh, have a school trustee who supports them and a city councillor who supports them. I have a, a, a great fondness for Parthi. Uh, we have both literally uh, grew up about three streets away from each other in the same uh, subdivision in, in Scarborough. We went to the same public school, Corvette Public School. We played in the same gym, we played on the same baseball field, we played cricket and soccer in the in the same area. So both Parthi and I understand the pulse of the local community and you want somebody at the school board who understands the local community because whoever that person is sitting at that table will decide what we do and what we don't do in our schools. And if your schools have special needs or special circumstances or special considerations, you need somebody who's grassroots, like Parthi, who understands the community, who was raised in the community, who knows everybody in the community, who can say, you know what, this is what's going to work for our community. This is how we can respect our community. This is how we can reflect the diversity in our community. This is what's going to work, and this other option isn't gonna work so well. So I would, I would encourage people, make sure that Parthi's bum is in that seat the day after the election because you need a teacher, you need an advocate, you need a local resident from our community that will represent you well at the school board. I would encourage people as well to make sure, of course, that you vote on election day for Parthi and all the other people that you're going to vote for. But of course, of course, Parthi should be top of mind. I hope that all of you will spend some time, make it your personal mission to get Parthi elected. And that means volunteering, delivering flyers, knocking on doors, making phone calls, and actually having a little bit of fun networking and meeting other people in the campaign office, out on the street. And I can guarantee you, because we've all done it, when you're out on a campaign and you go into the Tim Hortons to, to have a coffee to warm up, you will meet some amazing, wonderful people and your life will be better for it. And I would encourage everybody as well to make a financial donation, whether it's $100, $500, $700, it's a lot of money to ask, but when you look at the campaign costs that all of us face of sixty or seventy thousand dollars each to have the honor of serving the public it is important that every single dollar that you can donate makes it a little easier for Parthi to get elected it allows him to print more signs it allows him to print more brochures it allows him to have more Facebook pages and IT stuff and social media stuff and it makes sure he has a presence we need new blood at the school board we need a new strong advocate we need somebody connected to the grassroots like Parthi I would encourage you to join with me and endorse Parthi, support him, volunteer for him, donate to his campaign, make it your personal mission to get Parthi a new voice on the, our school board seats this 2014. Thank you very much for your time.